Welcome back to Finance Homefront. Thank you for joining me today. If you find the content helpful, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Remember, while I'm here to share insights and information, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a financial professional before making any investment decisions. Now, let's dive into today's topic, deciding whether to sell or hold your Bitcoin. Considering selling your Bitcoin, here's what you need to know before making the decision. Whether you're contemplating selling your Bitcoin or deciding to hold on to it, it's crucial to evaluate your financial circumstances and understand the potential tax implications. In this detailed video, we will explore five critical questions you should ponder before making the decision to sell your Bitcoin, along with a few steps to consider once you've reached a conclusion. Five critical questions to contemplate before selling your Bitcoin. One. What was your initial motivation for purchasing Bitcoin? Before you rush into selling your Bitcoin, take a moment to reflect on the reasons that initially led you to invest in this digital currency. Was your primary objective to capitalize on Bitcoin's potential for long-term growth, or were you aiming to achieve quick, short-term profits? Bitcoin operates in a market that is far from stable. It's known for its substantial volatility. However, for many investors, this volatility is not just a risk, but an opportunity to reap significant returns over the long term. The history of Bitcoin is marked by periods of extreme price fluctuations, but those who have maintained their investment for extended periods have often been rewarded with considerable profits. If your original investment strategy was based on the belief in Bitcoin's long-term value, selling during a period of market downturn might contradict your initial intentions. It's essential to align your current decision with your original investment strategy. Two, what is your risk tolerance? Before making any decisions regarding your cryptocurrency investments, you must assess your risk tolerance. The cryptocurrency market is notorious for its sharp rises and equally sharp declines, which can test even the most seasoned investors. If you find yourself struggling to cope with the dramatic shifts in Bitcoin's value, you might consider selling during a downturn. However, it's vital to approach this decision with a calm and rational mindset, carefully evaluating your overall financial situation. Bitcoin's history is replete with instances of significant volatility, often followed by periods of recovery and growth. It's essential to determine your personal threshold for market turbulence the point at which market fluctuations might jeopardize your ability to meet short-term financial obligations or cause undue stress. Three, how will your profits or losses on Bitcoin be taxed? Understanding the tax implications of selling your Bitcoin is essential before making any moves. When you sell your Bitcoin, you will realize either a capital gain or a capital loss, depending on how the value of your Bitcoin has changed since you originally acquired it. To calculate your capital gains or losses, you can use the following formula. Capital gains equals value at time of sale minus your cost basis. If the value of your Bitcoin has increased since you purchased it, you will be required to pay capital gains tax on your profits. It's crucial to consider how much money you'll retain after taxes if you plan to sell your Bitcoin at a profit. Conversely, if the value of your Bitcoin has decreased since you acquired it, you may be able to claim a capital loss. This loss can be used to offset your capital gains for the tax year and reduce up to $3,000 of your ordinary income. If you are contemplating selling your Bitcoin at a loss, consider how this decision might lower your overall tax liability. Four, will you be subject to short-term or long-term capital gains taxes? The duration for which you have held your Bitcoin plays a significant role in determining the tax rate that will apply to your gains. If you have owned your Bitcoin for 12 months or less, your profits will be taxed at the higher short-term capital gains rate. However, if you have held your Bitcoin for more than 12 months, you will be eligible for the lower long-term capital gains tax rate. Some investors deliberately choose to hold on to their Bitcoin for over a year to benefit from these lower tax rates. 
Understanding the difference between short-term and long-term capital gains tax rates can significantly impact your decision to sell. 5. Can you take advantage of Bitcoin's unique tax loss harvesting benefits? If you're considering selling your Bitcoin at a loss, it's important to be aware of a unique advantage that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies offer when it comes to tax loss harvesting. Unlike traditional equities, Bitcoin is currently classified as property by the IRS, not as a security. This distinction is crucial because the IRS's wash sale rule, which applies to securities, prohibits investors from claiming a capital loss on a security if they purchase the same or substantially identical security within 30 days before or after the sale. However, since Bitcoin is considered property, this rule does not apply to it. This means that investors can sell their Bitcoin, claim a capital loss, and then repurchase the same amount of Bitcoin shortly afterward without violating the wash sale rule. This strategy allows investors to maintain their Bitcoin holdings while simultaneously reducing their taxable income. What to do after you've made your decision to sell or hold. If you've decided not to sell your Bitcoin, but still need access to fiat currency, you have options beyond selling your holdings. Many investors choose to leverage cryptocurrency loans, which allow them to obtain fiat money by using their Bitcoin as collateral. With a cryptocurrency loan, you can receive a cash loan while retaining ownership of your Bitcoin. Typically, you'll be required to make monthly payments on the loan, including interest. This approach enables you to access the funds you need without selling your Bitcoin, allowing you to benefit from any future price increases. How can you sell your Bitcoin? If you've made the decision to sell your Bitcoin, you can do so through various cryptocurrency exchanges, such as Coinbase, Gemini, or Kraken. These platforms provide a straightforward way to sell your Bitcoin, but it's important to be aware that they often charge fees for transactions. Before proceeding with the sale, ensure that you're familiar with the fees associated with your chosen platform and consider how these fees might impact your overall proceeds from the sale. How can you manage your Bitcoin taxes? Once you've sold your Bitcoin, it's essential to properly report the transaction for tax purposes. To do this, you'll need detailed records of your Bitcoin transactions, including the cost basis, the price of Bitcoin at the time of sale, and the dates of acquisition and disposal. Keeping track of this information can be challenging, especially if you've made multiple transactions over time. Fortunately, there are tools available to simplify this process. Crypto tax software such as CoinLedger can help you automatically generate a complete tax report by integrating with various blockchains and exchanges. CoinLedger, for example, can connect to platforms like Bitcoin and Coinbase, streamlining the process of calculating your capital gains or losses and ensuring that your tax report is accurate and up to date. Deciding whether to sell or hold your Bitcoin is a significant decision that requires careful consideration of your financial goals, risk tolerance, and the potential tax implications. By asking yourself the five critical questions outlined in this video, you can make a more informed decision that aligns with your original investment strategy. Whether you choose to sell your Bitcoin or hold on to it, understanding the unique characteristics of cryptocurrency, such as its tax implications and potential for volatility, will help you navigate the complexities of the market. By staying informed and taking advantage of available tools and resources, you can make decisions that support your long-term financial success. Thanks for sticking with me through this deep dive into the considerations around selling or holding your Bitcoin. I hope you found the information valuable as you navigate your own investment decisions. Remember, the key is to stay informed, align your actions with your long-term goals, and always be mindful of the potential tax implications. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe to Finance Home Front for more insights on financial topics. As always, I'm here to provide information, not financial advice, so be sure to consult a professional before making any moves in the market. Until next time, stay smart with your investments, and I'll see you in the next video.